So yeah, I found I found this forum post. It's actually uh it actually came out a week ago. Um and it was actually written by my guild master, uh four dot to one. So yeah. Thought I'd just um go over and do like commentary on this. Yeah. I'm hoping you guys can read this. Yeah, punishing journey nerf and coming, like I said, this came out a week ago. Yeah, journey worked out so far due to the Pathfinder troop. This build deals damage, creates up to 15 gems, 16 sh uh, same color, allowing players, allowing players to reliably keep the turn while slowly whittling opponents down. This is going to be very important in those super high tier battles, you know, where enemies could have a combined armor and life total of like 500. Yeah, it's going to need to stay your turn. been nerfed and um i just found this out um it isn't just edelwing that got nerfed all their journey troops got nerfed and um no unless i suck at math that's actually um that's actually eight gems not ten it's a uh, two per beast Yeah, I said this too um, earlier. All the journey troops usually require like I think it was like eleven or so. Now it requires fifteen. Yeah, a favorable board to the opponent. During my journey run, I only use it as an absolute last resort or to to deal the finishing blow. Yeah, I gotta... Here, let me... Let me check OBS real quick, make sure it looks alright. Okay. Yeah, I have to... I have to double up on the, uh... I have to double up on the sickles. Just so the battles aren't taken all morning. And then on top of that, I'm pretty sure that... Oh, if I can go... Wrong one. I'm pretty sure that not everybody's gonna have Pan and Scorpio. Two mythics. So, battles for me aren't as bad. You know, but I'm pretty sure a lot of other players don't have this luxury of, like, having, you know, having a whole bunch of mythics to work with. Yeah, I, I, this, this is just what I was saying, too. Lower level players, they ain't gonna last long in here. That was probably one of the big beauties about the, um... About, um, about the previous version of this. Even the low level players, as long as they can keep looping, as long as they can keep looping, they can keep playing. Yeah, without a looping team, they don't have to fire rapidly increasing opponent levels. Yeah, but like I said, I had a, I had a double up on the sickles, otherwise they take forever. Because you're basically operating a man down. Like I said, I don't touch Edelwing, unless there's like absolutely zero brown gems on the board. You know, nothing to board blow with. And then on top of that, either that or it's gonna deal the, it's gonna deal the killing blow.
got a... He's got some ideas. But, um... I'm kind of... Because of... Due to past experience with, um... With other games over the years... I'd probably take the hardline stance. Just revert it back... Or don't bother. Because, um... Other game... Other games... Other game devs... They'll... They'll, um... Let me let me take this off real quick. They'll probably give you the uh, they'll probably give you an alternative like deals deals magic times two damage to an enemy or something. They'll say or they might say something like They'll, 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 they'll bump it to where a 25% chance to dodge skull damage. Anything but re, but revert the frickin' change. So I call it, I call it being stingy at the negotiating table. Or just being stingy for short. They don't want to just correct their mistake. They'll, they'll try to give you some throwaway buff. Like I said, I've seen, uh, I've seen other game devs do this over the years. Like, they won't just roll back the change. They'll give you some bullshit option instead. You know, instead of create two brown gems, create a, a brown and a yellow gem instead. Just fix the fucking problem. But like I said, I gotta... I bet they won't. They'll... Some stupid alternative. They'll say... Well, now it takes brown, yellow, and and green. Brown, yellow, and green mana now. They won't knock this back down to 11 like it used to be. Or they'll say some other kind of bullshit change. Maybe 2.5, 3, 3.5. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's still... The troop is still going to be freaking useless. You know, stuff like that. But they won't revert the change. I might click this, but I want to... I want to see what some of these other guys have been saying. I'm eating uh, tater rounds in case anyone's curious. Negative scaling for score, they'll probably go into a journey. Yeah, and it, yeah, it's the current scheme for Journey Troops. The current scheme, but back in the day, it was freaking great. And I think um, when DJ Screw was on here earlier, he said the same thing too. They act, you know, they're acting like these Journey Troops are a bunch of Zolgoths or something. No, freeze them. Same thing with gob. Same thing with goblins. I'm. I can't remember where I read it, but I think back in the day. People are complaining about goblins being too overpowered. Freeze them. Yeah, it, 
It looks like it's another um, another example of devs being stingy. Kind of a kind of a side note. I see a in real I see a real live aspect of this too. I mean SUVs. I mean they're at least in my opinion they're 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 pretty much a, they're pretty much a cancer. They're pretty much they're pretty much a cancer in society, I, for lack of a better word. But yeah, it just but you know instead of maybe just getting rid of SUVs entirely, no, they make it flex fuel friendly, or they try to make it environmentally friendly. You know that you know it just anything but just not you know stop making them or only make them on a limited basis. I think I read a. There's a video out there about uh, I forget the name, but a little kids. Like if you're in an SUV, you can't see what's in front of you, like in front of your bumper, like say a little child. I guess um, a lot of uh, SUV accidents involve children getting run over and stuff. They've uh, I guess they added like cameras or like collision detection or something like that to the dashboard or whatever, which it's just gonna give you one more thing you have to see. You know, road, then you gotta look down here, road, you know, that kind of thing. I mean, yeah, they'll throw that in there. Anything but actually, you know, stop making the damn things. Of course, that also gives them a reason to jack the prices up on them, too, because of all that extra technology. But, you know, so I kind of see it here, too. Looks like they're gonna start talking about uh oh hey Mike um in case you're wondering I'm reading a forum post right now about uh the the nerf to the journey troops I don't know if you know about it here let me let me take it off for you so up until recently most of these journey troops start with um usually only cost about 11 mana now it's 15 and all the journey troops are like this it used to it used to create four gems boosted by whatever whatever troop you know insert troop here now they have nerfed it down to two I'm just, uh, I'm reading the forum post on it. Okay, so, it looks like they're talking about other stuff. And this is another one here. Um, this is my guild master. Um, after this stream, I'll, I'm probably going to go on YouTube anyway, most likely. I'm, it's probably not just going to be one video about the nerf. I'm probably going to get a whole shit ton of them. Because I'm sure every content creator out there is going to be complaining about this. Um, even I might, even I might make a video later on after the stream, but possibly not. I think what I might also do is just, I'll take this segment of the stream video and just, and just export this to YouTube. Demonstrate, and that doesn't matter anyone by removing it from the feedback section. Oh, so this came out yesterday. So this is a more recent one. I can hardly hear the music. I didn't I had it turned down too low. Most throwaway possible. Pathfinder now useless. Kill his own team at higher levels. Yup. That's what I said. That's what I said when I did the journey event. It's only putting, at best, eight brown gems on the board. That just gives uh, your opponent free brown matches right there. 
Pathfinder still has to be lugged along for scoring purposes, blocking a team spot. I kind of said this earlier too. It's almost better. It was almost better to just not have him in there at all. But this is at the time I didn't know that all the journey troops were affected by this, not just Edelwing. So I was thinking just just chuck out Edelwing and throw Chalcedony in there and stuff. But but took a look at that and oops, she got nerfed as well. Oh, congrats on that, man. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Screw and um, Eric on Light Darts, they pulled all nighters. I think they have about that same amount, too, like 200 keys. I only have about 110, 120, or something like that. Scoring rules now tailored to always cost players up to half their miles each battle. Um, yeah, I. I've been having to, I've been having to use two sigils per battle now, just so I'm not. There, this event isn't taking all morning. That's that's my, and that's if my team doesn't get killed beforehand. Dissipation costs increase from five, tier five to tier seven. Eight hundred extra gems to complete rewards. I talked about this too. Um. If I had a, if I had a paid attention and noticed that uh, the all the journey troops got a nerf, I probably wouldn't have spent all my gems to get all the tiers. It would have been a waste otherwise. And this is also something else I was talking about. But my personal opinion on this, I would rather um, I would rather the devs just. Not change, not change a thing. Then to do what I was talking about like five, ten minutes ago, giving you some kind of, giving you some kind of bullshit negotiation thing. Like, like I'll say, you know, okay, we've decided to buff all the dirty troops. Now they deal magic, magic plus five damage. Now they deal fifty damage to an enemy, and not just forty-five. You know, something like that. Just to shut people up, or okay. Now they, only, now they only require 14 mana, and not 15, you know, that. You know, instead of uh, just fixing the entire problem. Oh, damn, see, you almost made off like a bandit, huh? Secondly, I don't, I don't want to dig through all the forum posts to find out why they did it, but I'm pretty sure it's probably just some stupid reason. Yeah, spending less. Again, I'm doubling up on the sickles, so... become an echo chamber here. Yeah, that's something else. I just... The truth just popped, just uh, brought it up. This is, this is another cool thing about the journey, the old journey troop. The journey troops of old. You could use them outside of uh, you can use them outside of events. Can't do that now. They're gonna be like a lot of other a lot of these other troops, um, bounty troops come to mind. You're not gonna use them outside of bounty events, except for a few rare exceptions here and there. Journey troops, you were always using them outside of events, PVP, uh, explore runs. And that I just thought of that too. That this change 
just rendered a whole bunch of my teams useless. Heck, let me back up and out. Sprinkle Tinkle is now is basically unplayable now. Men in Tights is now unplayable. Create two green gems. Now, unless they revert these changes, I'm pretty much just going to have to dismantle them. Poop Sprinkler. Two gems. This team here is pretty much useless. Uh, Boyds, I don't... Yeah. I might have to look at some of these Guild Wars teams, too. Um... I think Brown... Yeah. Yeah. Brown defense. Yes. Yeah, that's what I said a few minutes ago. It's the all the journey troops, they're actually useful outside of journey. So, I'm gonna go ahead and call it good here. Yeah, cause I, I still have PVP I have to do yet. 